women also volunteered to do not just construction of temporary shelters, but also tearing down of the damaged buildings and structures which were still dangerous. Uh, and I think this was important for the women to also participate in doing because it made the women's work in reconstruction uh, and relief really visible in a way where um, women were not just considered as victims that the relief agencies and the men had to take care of, but women were also participating very visibly in the reconstruction of their own communities. Um, um, and so housing and shelter, and the other, I would say, services that were provided particularly by women's groups as opposed to um, other relief agencies was psychosocial um, counseling for the trauma that the, the, the communities had gone through or were still going through. Because a lot of these women, a lot of the children were, have been traumatized um, by the loss of and the devastation that they have seen. Um, and so most of the women's organizations that we funded were able to provide counseling support um, to the women. Um, some of them took the, the, took the kind of shape of uh, innovative counseling support such as uh, dance therapy. Uh, it was important for women to feel free in their bodies and actually be able to express kind of a joy of the life that they still had as opposed to um, feel, continue to feel the trauma in their bodies. Um, some of them were able to provide counseling and art therapy and painting and dancing to the children, the survivors. 